Thank you so much for being with me today. I appreciate it. My pleasure. I want to start with congratulating you on the award that the film won at the Venice Film Festival. Very well deserved. Thank you. I, 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 of course, I was honored. And, and being in Venice was already right in the middle of the pandemic was uh, exciting. But uh, this this uh, uh, big award from Kate Blanchett and Matt Dillon and, and all the jury was uh, I feel very lucky and, and it's great to present the movie to American audiences with, with that award. I, I, I'm, what, I, what I really like about the movie, and now we, I guess, get into it. Uh, I, I think that with everything that's gone on in, in Mexico, there's almost like a normalization in corruption. Like, oh, that's how politicians are. They're corrupt. And that's how these people are. They're this way. And so with that being said, there's not much being done. I think a film like yours has to make that impact, has to be almost extreme to a level to maybe get it, you know, start to drive it. Absolutely. That's exactly why I made the movie because I, I'm 41 years old and I've, I've grown up in this country that, that I love, but that also hurts to see uh, the damages of corruption and, 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 and wealth disparity and, 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 since I was a kid, I kept saying, this is not normal. We cannot mm -hmm. agree. We cannot accept to, to, to live this way. And, and it's normalized as, as you just described. So uh, it deserved a film like New Order, which is, you know, uh, a, a powerful, hopefully a bomb that, that triggers uh, discussions that invites to reflection. It's a cautionary tale. And it's especially a way of saying the status quo is, it's, it's wrong. We need to change things. Absolutely. And, and I think you do that through a variety of very interesting characters. Can you talk about developing those characters? Because you, you placed them in very specific points and in social points that they all kind of come together as one. And to me, really state the fact that everyone's affected by this. Well, I, I, I thought that the best way was to, to tackle all this, you know, huge amount of ideas was mm -hmm. through a family uh, and the people that work uh, for the family, which are supposed to be like an extended family because they've been there forever. But what happens when, when those uh, relationships are challenged? Mm -hmm. And what happens when a country breaks down? How, did, how it affects our characters? So we focus on, on, on they're having, holding a wedding, even though, uh, Mexico or whatever country setting it's uh, it's on fire but they still keep going because you know they're selfish that way and 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 it's interesting to see how each character reacts to this so of course the bride it's it's the central character uh I wrote the part for for her specifically uh, specifically she's she's um she's probably the the uh, the most conscious the most conscious the, the, the one that understands better that things need to be uh better but she doesn't know how to to improve things so so she's naive in that way and then there's the brother who's uh played by boneta in a in a great way but uh not necessarily a, a likable character uh and and then there's marta and christian that work for the family and they so so through them i try and, and there's of course uh, rolando who goes to ask money in the middle of the wedding to save uh, the life of, of his wife, who was, who's a former employee. So, so the relationship between the, between the characters is complex. Mm -hmm. uh, and we should understand a lot about the country through these characters. Then there's the politician who, of course, we, we, we dislike, I do at least. And that opens the door to the military element, which is uh, what I fear the most in today's world. The way we are headed into a, a controlling society that will prevent us from a more uh, fair uh, life. <laughs> that was a long answer, but I hope it kind of. I hope it was interesting. No, I appreciate it, and I was going to make the comment that I thought Christian and Marta's characters were so brilliant because they seem to be really stuck in the middle. It, 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 it was also important that characters are not good or bad. Just, the, mm -hmm. I mean, the politician and the military are definitely evil, but 
But other than those, everyone, they make mistakes and they try and they fail and they love each other, but they get in each other's way. And that's life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I was to let my question wrap it up. What, what do you hope audience is the, the biggest takeaway from a new order? Uh, I like how the ending is, is it, it confronts the audience and, and, and it, it ends in a way, I'm not going to reveal it, but it ends in a way that uh, audiences are not used to. So it's a surprising ending because it's, it's different from the common, uh, the, the, the every, every other movie. And I, I hope, you know, this triggers long discussions and, 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 and I hope it's a movie that people won't forget easily. I 100% agree with you. I thought it was very shocking and it, and it just proves that, uh, you know, this is a story, but there's a whole lot of work to do ahead of us. Let, so let's get on it. And, and, and just to, to end, uh, also to, to point out that it's uh, a worldwide problem. Uh, the, the problem is that the, the movie uh, uh, analyzes our worldwide problems. So it applies to Mexico, to the States, to Europe, to Asia. It, it's... Uh, a uh, universal move in that way that I attempted to, to make. And, and I hope it, it works for U.S. audiences uh, in such way. Absolutely. Michelle, thank you so much for your time. And thank you thank for, you. for the film. It's very impactful, like I was saying. And I, I very much enjoyed it. Thank, thank you very much, Paul. All right, take care. Ciao.